Heavier snow, snowfall rates at one to three inches per hour. Winds gusting over 35 to 40 plus miles an hour, all part of the height of the storm system, which is really will start to develop late this morning and into the afternoon. And you will clearly notice here on the maps of where the greatest threats are. While we have winter weather advisories for a lighter snow in northern and western sections of the state, the winter storm warning posted for areas of Carroll County farther south through parts of Cheshire County and going all the way to the coastline, including the Merrimack Valley and the Lakes region, where the best potential of over six plus inches of snow will be. And then you get into far southeastern areas of the state, and the potential is there for well over a foot of that very fluffy snow, which with the wind this afternoon is going to blow and drift around. Blizzard warning is now in effect for southeastern parts of the state closer to the coastline, where the wind could knock the visibility down to less than a quarter of a mile. We get into the afternoon with some of this heavier snow, and travel just really not recommended. The blowing the drifting and the lower visibility is really going to make travel difficult at best this afternoon. So the area of low pressure itself is south of Long Island. It is expected to continue to uh, increase the wind greatly through the afternoon as well as strengthen. And when it makes its closest pass to the southeast of Cape Cod later this afternoon and this evening, that's when we're going to see the better effects here. You will notice in southern parts of New England right now, that's where they're seeing the darker shades of the heavier snowfall. There are some spots down through southern parts of Massachusetts that have picked up five to eight inches of snow. And again, there's going to be plenty of that here falling down in that direction while we wind up on the northwestern fringes of this system. And you will notice that just over the last couple of hours as the snowfall has been gradually lifting northward, it is kind of hitting a little bit of a roadblock through northern areas of the state and in far western spots where there is some very dry air this has to battle. And with that wind blowing out of the north and northeast, it is not a moist flow that is just going to add moisture to the air. If anything, it's just going to kind of reinforce that drier air and make a very sharp cutoff to areas that see a foot foot and a half of snow out of the system to areas that see just a couple of inches of snow and that is literally that cutoff is going to be right over the state as we go into the afternoon and into this evening. Greatest effects obviously will be closer to that storm center itself will be in southeastern areas of the state this afternoon and early this evening. Here is a look at an updated map and again we've just kind of updated this watching that drier air that is just not budging right now in northwestern sections of the state. It is a very very sharp cutoff and that is the anticipation here from areas that will wind up with over a foot of accumulation in southeastern spots and maybe a few spots up around 20 inches of that very fluffy snow. And you can see those amounts really trail off quickly the farther north and west you go to just a few inches in far northern areas of the state. Everyone to at least some magnitude this afternoon will be in on the wind. It's just the gustiest of the winds expected to be in southern parts of the state. For more on the changing impacts through the afternoon and this evening and the latest timeline with Futurecast, here's Haley. Hi, Kevin. And yes, we've been going back and forth a little bit on those snowfall amounts. It's incredible right? Because you had the two inches possibly in the northwestern part of the state and then at a maximum up to 20 out at the seacoast. So it really does depend on your proximity to the ocean and that sharp cutoff. So difficult for us to forecast one to give you an idea of what's happening in Sunapee. This is the area where we're forecasting about four to six inches of snowfall. Not so bad visibility. Obviously it's cut down, but I would say that that island there or the shore is um, still a, at least a mile away in that picture. So we have good visibility there. 18 degrees in Manchester, though. Visibility has dropped in the city. Wind out of the north northeast 22 miles per hour, so that means it feels like only one. So that's a big factor to think about when you're going out later this afternoon is the fact that when you're cleaning up or the kids going to play out in the snow, oh, it's just going to feel bitterly cold with wind chills below zero in many instances. The visibility telling us where it is snowing. It looks like Plymouth now down below two miles visibility, but down below even a mile in now and in Portsmouth uh, at this hour with the snow picking up in intensity. So this is a big low pressure system, a big nor'easter. We call it a nor'easter because as it moves through, the winds primarily out of the northeast, and it's going to continue to move up toward the north and east right offshore over the next few hours. And then following it, we're back to sunshine by Sunday morning. So it is a pretty quick blitz of heavy snow, big pounding snow through the southeastern part of the state at least. Here's noontime. Everybody's seeing the snow coming down, but certainly lighter intensity to the north and to the west, but heaviest in intensity from Manchester, Nashua toward Portsmouth, Rochester, and you see these darker shades of the purple. These are these one to two, maybe even three inch per hour snowfall rates. These bands that kind of back right down as this nor'easter continues to circulate off over the ocean. It's gone though. The snow wrapping up by about 
10, 11 o'clock tonight. And then, yeah, we're back to sun for the start of the day tomorrow. Wind speeds, they've started to pick up. Manchester, 22 miles per hour out of the northeast, 17 miles per hour, Portsmouth. And then these are the gusts. Look at that, the latest one in Concord, up to 30 miles per hour. So I do think between 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts possible inland, a bit stronger than that at the coast in this red zone between 40 to 50 miles per hour. So that's why there is a blizzard warning there. There likely will be times where we get close to the criteria for a blizzard. You need three straight hours of strong winds and low visibility, sustained winds greater than 35 miles per hour, falling or blowing snow with visibility below a quarter of a mile or less. We haven't gotten there yet at the seacoast, but there's still plenty of time. Also at the seacoast, we've been watching the high tide just happened. No reports of flooding, but we will watch the high tide at 856 tonight for some minor flooding splash over. There are some huge ocean swells with the surge of this storm too offshore, but thankfully it doesn't appear like the coastal concerns will be major with this storm. All right, let's go uh, back to Kevin for a look at the seven day. So to recap here, Haley, yes, we have the highest snowfall and the greatest effects in southeastern parts of the state with it really trailing off farther back to the north and west. Take a really good look at this. We have kind of altered northwestern sections of the state to the drier air that this system is going to be battling in a very tight difference between the haves and have nots out of this system as far as what you'll be cleaning up tomorrow. The wind will continue tonight and tomorrow out of a northwesterly direction and that will feed in the drier air and eventually after a couple of chillier days, we have a little bit of a warming trend heading into early next week. Temperatures by Wednesday and Thursday near or above 40.